Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing the class of How Do I Schedule Custom Functions. After this video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve our video library. Here are some of the key points we're going to discuss today. Schedules allow administrators to create functions for Zoho to perform actions at specified times. Some examples of these would be to maybe sync contacts in Zoho with another application or alert users of leads or deals that aren't touched. Functions are manually created using the Zoho programming language called Deluge, and schedules can be either one-time only or recurring. Now let's go into Zoho and I'll show you a little bit more of what I mean. When you're in Zoho on the home screen, you want to go to the top right to the tools, the wrench and the screwdriver. And when you click on that, you want to go on the left where there's automation and you want to click on schedules. And as you can see here, we have several schedules already uh, created. And at the top, it says schedules are customizable actions that can be triggered, triggered automatically using functions. So if we're, we go into this first one, reminder to update Zoho. I'm going to show you a little bit of detail here. And as you can see, there are, there are the red lines under each of these fields that are required to be able to set up the schedule. So the schedule name here is Reminder to Update Zoho. If you wanted, you could add a description. The function to be executed, this is where you would decide what function you want to execute. In this case, we have one called Update Zoho. And if I click on the pencil, you can see, you can edit this, and this is where you can see all that programming language. Uh, and in this case, this is sending an email, as you can see in the top of the white box. On the left side, these are some of the basic tasks you can do. And if you go down a little towards the bottom, send email is one of them. And what you would do here, if you were creating the, the function now, is that this slides in and then it would have you populate everything after the brown um, text. So in this case, you can see that this is going to come from the administrator, and it's going to be an email that, in this case, goes to john at marksgroup.net. And if you want here, I can even change this to my name. Uh, oops. Um, and the subject is going to be weekly reminder update Zoho, and the message is going to be please log in to Zoho to update your records. And if you wanted to edit this, you could. Um, and, but this is really what it's going to look like. But we'll just say done. And then you would save it and execute it. And you can see that the function is executed. So if we save this, then you can see you can have a start date for the execution. And if you click on the, the date, you can see a calendar pops up. And you can change that date to anything you want. But we'll leave it at, we'll move it here. We'll move it to February 28th. And then you can change the time also if you want to. You can Then you have the frequency. If you were to choose um, this to be just something that happens once, that would be it. You would say once, you would update, and then you would turn it on with, back in the screen when we get back in. But in this case, let me show you, you can set it to be recurring. So let's say you did it to be weekly. And here you would see weekly, it would ask when it ends, how many times, or is there a date you'd want to, you'd want to have it stop. And then you would update it from there. So now when you update it, you can see, here's the reminder to update. Um, schedule and the next run is March 6 but you can choose to run it now as well and then you can see when it was last run manual execution completed and the status here is on and you see the frequency again you can just turn the status off if you want deactivating schedules by deactivating the schedule the associated function will be stopped and you can deactivate it and then you just turn it on should put it on again so let me just show you here, you can create a new schedule as well. And in a new schedule, um, like you saw before, the schedule name is required. So I'm going to call this um, test123. I'm not going to add a description, though you could. And then the next thing here, related to what I was showing you before with the update Zoho, is the function to be executed. And if you, if you uh, click here, you have two options. You can choose from existing functions, and there's some, some here, and what you'd end up doing is configuring them. So here is the update Zoho that we had before, and if I did configure, 
this takes me back to where I was before where you can make some changes on it. But I'm going to cancel that, cancel out of this, um, X out of this, and then just show you that the other option you have is to write a function if you wanted to start creating your own function. We're not going to get into that here, but if you really wanted to get into um, uh, programming your own language, I do have two tabs. Here's one, functions programming. This is from Zoho, and it really goes into a little bit more detail to help you do some of the programming. And then there's another, um, another part of Zoho, which goes into more detail again about the language. But if we go here, just to show you what I did before, let's say we know this one is to send an email. You drag this in, and then here's, if you remember, where we had the admin, um, the who this was to, you know, all of the different things, and you can save this. I'm not going to do that now, but just wanted to show you how you can go about creating a schedule as well. Um, so here again, um, here are some schedules. Multiple schedules could be um, regular, ready to go at the same time because they could be tied to different modules. Um, so just to go back to our key takeaways, schedules allow administrators to create functions for Zoho to perform actions at specified times. Functions are manually created using the Zoho language called Deluge, and I showed you what that looked like. And schedules can be either one time only or recurring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions you may have about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.